So say you're playing Rust and you have a farm. And on your farm, you need to water your plants, which I think is most farms. So normally what you can do is set up whatever kind of water system you want. Um, here I've got just a barrel that's being fed by a pump in a river. And I can turn on my switch here and look, oh uh, great, my plants are being watered. But I have to pay attention to when they need water. I have to turn this on and off whenever they need water. And that's annoying. I don't want to have to pay attention to my water. So what I can do instead is I can set up an automatic watering system that I never have to pay attention to, and it'll just keep my, my plants watered. It's really simple to do, and all you need is what I have here. So like I said, just a normal water setup, whatever you use, whether it's rain catchers or water from a river or collecting it from buckets, I don't care, whatever you do. So I've just got a simple power system set up right here, fed into these two uh, electrical branches. One of them's for my lights. The other one powers the pump over there. And then my power out, first things first, is going to go into a switch. And then here we go. So for this circuit, you're going to need a switch, an electric water pump, a splitter, two timers, a blocker, and another splitter. Okay, And you can set these up however you want. I like to set it up like this because it's easy. Uh, so once you have power going into your switch, you're going to go from your switch into your splitter. I would use a splitter here, not an electrical branch, just because we need all three of these. So the splitter power is going to go into the first timer the second timer and into the power in on the blocker. Okay, then what you're gonna do is from here, you want to turn on your power because you need to set up the times on these timers and this is the best time to do it. So you can practice, see what works best for you. For the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna set this at five seconds and this one I'm gonna set at 10 seconds. So this first timer here tells you how long your sprinklers will stay on. And then this timer here tells you how often they're going to go off. And once you get this set up, it's just going to run on a loop and you won't have to pay attention to it ever. Okay, so mine are going to go on for five seconds and that's going to happen every 10 seconds. So that's going to look like five seconds on, five seconds off. So then once you have this set up this way, you get power from your first timer. It's going to go over into this splitter here. Power from the second timer is going into the block pass-through uh, for the blocker. Power out from the blocker is going to go over to the toggle on for the first timer. I'm gonna turn off my power. And then once you have this set up here, you take the power out from one of these on the blocker. That's gonna go into the toggle on, or sorry, power out from the splitter, not the blocker. That's going to go to the toggle on to the second switch. And then finally, your power out is going to go up. And that's going to be the power. Put it into the toggle on the pump. Not the power in or the pump power, but the toggle. That's it. So you'll see once I turn this switch on, you're going to have your sprinklers are going to come on for five seconds because of the first timer. And then they're going to go off for five seconds. we are going to come back on for five seconds. And they're going to go off for five seconds. So by adjusting the times on the timers, you can set your intervals. You can set how long you want the, the sprinklers to go off. Uh, basically, all that's happening is every time that this timer finishes, it cuts the block path through, pass through for just a second, which toggles this first one again, which goes to the splitter, retoggles the second one again. It's just, it's just an endless loop. Uh, and that's it. Really simple to set up. Never have to pay attention to your water again. Your plants won't be thirsty and you can go and make a ton of scrap from farming whatever you want.